Hello, Scorpio and Cross Watchers. This is Mel with Blue Scorpion Tarot. Here to get caught up with some readings for the channel. This will be for Saturday, November 7th, 2020. So for all of you Scorpios that are born on November 7th, many blessings to all of you on your special day. So without further ado, we're going to go ahead and dive into the reading. Gonna go ahead, roll the dice, see what you need me to shuffle the deck to today. Trying to get my words out. I've been doing a lot of readings for clients. So we have the number 11 and the number 9 and the number 8. Some of you Scorpios are dealing with another Scorpio throughout the month of November. Some of you, or a Sagittarius at the latter part of November. Some of you um, could be dealing with a Libra or a Virgo throughout the month of September. Or for some of you, you could be dealing with the number eight, a Leo or a Virgo throughout the month of August for some of you. Some of you could have been born in 1991 or 1998, or maybe some of you graduated in 1991 or 1998, okay? So what I am going to do is I'm going to break the energy down. I am going to take, let's see, I'm going to do the energy separately here. We're going to do 11, 9, and 8. So that brings me to, let's see, 17, uh, 18 the number 28. Maybe some of you are 28 years, 28 years old. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, and 28. Keep in mind, Scorpio Cross Watchers, that not all messages are going to resonate for everybody's storyline, but I could say that one thing throughout the reading, and it will be like the aha moment. Okay, so pulling from the top of the deck. Scorpio Cross Watchers, some of you guys are still in the Seven of Wands mode, feeling like you're going on the attack or on the defense. I'd be careful with that energy because we're still in Mars retrograde until November 13th, okay? So we'll see if this is protecting or defending something here. Let's see what's going on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm doing a three-card spread. Somebody here needs the courage and the strength to come forward. Some of you are dealing straight up. There's that number eight energy, so... Some of you are dealing with the Leo or a Virgo throughout the month of August. Somebody here is needing the courage and the strength maybe to stand up and defend themselves on something in particular in regards to you and your person, Scorpio. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The Five of Cups. Somebody here has guilt, remorse, regret over the past. Maybe that's the reason why somebody here is going on the defense or on the attack. Somebody is heartbroken here. There's no doubt about this. Let's see why. We'll see if whether this is you, Scorpio, or your person unto you with the Five of Cups. Let's see what's going on here in just a moment. Message from the Seven of Wands, Archangel Michael, in regards from Scorpio unto their person or Scorpio's person unto them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. For the Seven of Wands, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. For the Strength card, one, two, three, four, five. Five for the five of cups. Archangel Michael, what is this going on the attack or on the defense here for Scorpio unto their person or Scorpio's person unto them? Why? Who is this all about? The king of wands. Okay. Maybe it's, you know, some of you are on guard right now, maybe more specifically with a fire sign. It doesn't not, it does not have to be, but somebody here could be on the defense or going on the attack against a somebody who is like a player. You know, maybe you feel like you were taken, you know, for a fool in the past, Scorpio, or you felt like you might have been played. I don't know. Somebody here is getting some form of karma because somebody is in guilt, remorse, regret. Message from Strength, Archangel Michael, what is this? Something here wants to be laid to rest, okay? Like the energy to put a kibosh on it, basically. I've got the Four of Swords. So I have Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy kicking in here. Some of you guys are spiritualist or healing um, energy workers or your Reiki healer for some of you. 
A lot of you do manifestations or you do candle working, so I am picking that energy up through the Four of Swords. Why is this Five of Cups guilt, remorse, regret here, please, Archangel Michael? Mm. Okay, somebody here could be maybe stressing out a bit about reaching out to you, Scorpio, because I have the Page of Coins. Somebody may be in question whether or not you would respond to their text message or respond to their phone call. This is what I'm picking up because the page of coins is about, is about a token, a gift, a love offer, or a gesture. Somebody could be coming crying back, sobbing for forgiveness, or coming in in a very humble way. After all of the betrayal or the heartbreak in the past or feeling like you're on the tack or on the defense. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Message from the King of Wands, Archangel Michael. What is this? The truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth through the Ace of Swords. Somebody here needs to speak their truth or defend their truth. Somebody will be victorious, and I feel like justice will be served in your situation, Scorpio, whatever you're faced with, whether it's in the romantic department or in your career. Maybe some of you are, you know, in questioning of yourself whether or not to move on into even a new job situation. Maybe you know of somebody, maybe your person got laid off of work, maybe you were laid off of work, or maybe you were furloughed you know, unjustly, you know what I'm saying? But somebody here is trying to have courage and strength to speak their truth. How are they going to do this, Archangel Michael? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Hmm. Looks like the confusion, delusional energy is wanting to be cut out. The Seven of Cups, my least favorite card in all of the tarot deck, Okay. The snakes in the grass are basically going to get cut out. And that could be also, too, the reason why somebody's going on the attack or on the defense. Could be going up against a parental figure for some of you. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven for the Seven of Cups. Why all this confusion, delusional energy? Because of the Emperor. Some of you guys are dealing straight up with an Aries or a Taurus, to be more specific. Or meddling energy could be more specifically an Aries or a Taurus does not have to be, but this could be about a parental figure. There could be fake-ass facades that are going on with whoever is in the emperor mode. And that could be the reason why somebody's going on the attack or the defense to say, uh-uh, I'm not going back to that BS energy anymore. Somebody here is trying to have the courage and the strength to move forward, whether this is you, Scorpio, or it's your person unto you, because somebody here has guilt, remorse, regret. I say somebody here has learned a major hardcore lesson. Give me one more message from the Five of Cups, Archangel Michael. One, two, three, four, five. What is this? The Page of Swords. It's about a troublemaker. Maybe somebody here has guilt, remorse, regret for allowing the troublemakers to get in the way. This energy has come up before, yes. Some of your partners are spying in on you, Scorpio, or vice versa. Message from the Page of Coins. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. The Queen of Wands, meddling energy. Somebody here may be wanting to reach out, or maybe the karmic is going to reach out to you, Scorpio, or vice versa. Or reach out, try to reach out to your person. <laughs> I don't know if I trust that energy, to be honest with you. Message from the Queen of Wands. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and 13. And this could be more specifically about an Aries, a Leo, or a Sagittarius mother figure. The Ten of Cups. Interesting. So the Queen of Wands is also coming in as manifestation. Somebody here wants to have an over-the-rainbow moment again because somebody is also, too, on the other flip side of the coin, somebody here is also admiring your handsomeness or your beauty, Scorpio. But they know that they made mistakes, and they know they need to come forward with the truth. One, two, three, four. Message from the Emperor. The Two of Cups. Somebody here wants reconciliation big time. Big time. How is that coming in, um, Archangel Michael? How will the Two of Cups come in? This could be two hours, two days. Two weeks or possibly up to two months. One, two. Message from the Two of Cups. The Five of Swords. 
See, somebody here wants to reconcile because there was all that dirty bird conflict. So somebody got the truth. Somebody got the truth on the meddling energy. Mm -hmm. They got the freaking truth. Somebody knows now. Somebody here got played. They got played big time. Message from the Five of Swords. One, two, three, four, and five. The Nine of Swords. It's all about action. Sword activity. I got wand activity going on here. The meddling conflict wanted to keep somebody feeling stuck or trapped, not, you know, releasing them. Like it could be a compulsive mother that, you know, was holding his, you know, her son or her daughter back from going off and being with true love. Message, right? One more message from the Two of Cups, Archangel Michael. One, two. The Three of Swords. See, somebody wants to reconcile after there has been this third party situation and meddling energy. But they're scared. Some of them are scared. That's the reason why somebody needs the courage and the strength to move and charge ahead. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The Four of Cups. This is about also, too, this could be about an apology that's coming in and somebody getting out of stuck energy. Where energies in your environment, Scorpio, in or in regards to your love life or your career life, feeling unsatisfied. A lot of you guys are going to race and move and charge ahead for victory, okay? But your person has been trying to catch up and they've had all of this toxic BS around them in their environment. All they can think of, what I'm seeing here is all they can think of because of this Ace of Swords is the Two of Cups. They want to have that over the rainbow moment with you, Scorpio, with the Ten of Cups as well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Message from the Ten of Cups. We got the Ten of Coins. I'm done. You know, the desire for somebody to return and to reconcile with you, Scorpio, big time. Big time. So a lot of variable time frames. It could take three days, three weeks, three months. Four months, four days, four weeks, 10 days, 10 hours, 11 days, could take 11 weeks, four days. It could take up to the month of April for some of you. It could be happening in the autumn time process because of the Ace of Swords, um, Five of Swords activity. So if I look at the five, it could be five days, five weeks for some of you, okay? Sending a lot of light, love, and blessings to all of you Scorpios on your special day, and I will be back before you know it. Take care.